this SNP, we're going to focus on how to safely test your PowerShell scripts by using the what if parameter. The what if parameter is a common parameter that you can use with any commandlet. It is also available on advanced functions using the commandlet binding attribute. When using the what if parameter, it's going to display a message that describes the effect of the command instead of actually executing it. It sort of behaves like a risk mitigation method. So in our example here, we're going to run the remove item commandlet against a path and provide the what if parameter to see what the potential impact is. Executing that command, you can see below that the message describes the three actions that were to occur if this command were actually executed. Three files would have been deleted. Now, another way that you can run that same command is passing a true value to the what if parameter executing that command, you'll see the same results as above, but just a different way that you can pass the what if parameter. Now, we also have the what if preference variable available to us. This allows us to set the default behavior for the what if parameter. By default, the var variable is set to disabled. However, you can enable it setting the variable to true. Here is set defaults, and we're gonna go ahead and set that to true. When setting the what if preference variable to true, it allows us to run the same command as above, but this time we don't have to specify the what if parameter because the what if preference variable is already set to true. By running the same command, you can see that we get the message below letting us know the action that would occur if we were to execute this command. This covers using the what if parameter to safely test your PowerShell scripts. Thank you for watching.